Why did I decide to go into music? That is a very good question because going into college, I was very dead set on going into medicine. I was, I knew it because, you know, it's, it's a very respectable, it's a very prestigious career. And I thought that's what I wanted to do. There were two big things that happened in my life that made me realize I wanted to go into music. I was auditioning for this competition that Yo-Yo Ma had. And if you win, you get to collaborate with Yo-Yo Ma. Now, I didn't win the competition, but I did get second place. Um, and Yo-Yo Ma said that my music was inventive and unexpected. And it blew my mind because that's exactly who he is. He's an inventive, unexpected musician. And I've really always enjoyed his, his creativity. So for him to say that about me, and I just kind of did this thing off the cuff, you know, it meant a lot to me. The second big thing that happened was during my junior spring, I um, was opening this concert for uh, a big musician named KRS-One. He was um, kind of one of the big old school rappers. And I, I was um, doing some work with one of my friends um, who's a rapper. And we opened the concert together and KRS-One came to us he said that if I continuously do this type of music, there could be an opportunity for me to change the way people see hip hop or classical music. And that was a very, very big statement. You know, it's not something that I thought about when I was doing this cello beatboxing thing. It was just something that I kind of did for fun. And so, you know, I, <laughs> that spring break of my junior year, I went to breakfast with one of my closest friends who uh, was MD PhD at Yale. And I was asking him as a mentor, you know, what do I do? Because I love cello, I love beatboxing, I love putting the two together. Um, but, you know, at 20 years, years old, to decide to go into music is kind of late, and I don't know what to do. And he told me, he gave me some very wise advice. He said, listen, music is something that you need to do right now while you're young. You know, medicine is something that will always be there. You can always do it. You can go back to medicine when you're 25, when you're 26, 27. But if you want to pursue music, do it right now. You know, so after that conversation, I actually went back into my dorm and I got into the library and nobody was there. No, Nobody was there. And I got down on my knees and I said, God, I think you're absolutely crazy. I don't know why I should do music, but I feel like I'm supposed to do this. Um... And from that moment on, it was as if a can of worms opened and I knew I couldn't go back on my word. I had had to do music. And how do you pursue music? Um, all I knew was that there was YouTube and I, I just started putting up music videos just for fun. I mean, playing cello and beatboxing at the same time. And, you know, I continuously did that while I was living in China, and I start, started working on this piece called Julio um, by a guy named Mark Summer. And it was my first endeavor putting cello and beatboxing together in a full piece. And I worked on it throughout my whole senior year of college because it's just, it was that difficult for me to really figure out how to make this piece cool and to do both of them at the same time. But my senior spring, I actually put up a YouTube video of me doing it and it started going viral on the internet. And it was cool because that was the thing that got me kind of started. It was the catalyst for how I met Pentatonix. Scott found me from that video. You know, how I got to tour with Gunger. Um, how Quincy Jones found me. Um, and it was really a stepping stone. And I love the fact that it got me to this place. So it's such an exciting process. And I'm really happy that I decided to go into music. Because of it, I think I'm a better me. I think I'm gaining so many more skills that I, I, I wouldn't have gained in other careers for myself personally. And I'm, I feel like I'm putting one step forward and trying to understand how you know what i do really makes sense in this world that we live in you know and so i'm really thankful that i i make music for a living i'm really happy mm -hmm.